Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mike again. So I'm just gonna go over the modifications that I have on my car. Again, it's the 2014 Nissan GTR uh, Black Edition. Um, bought it uh, slightly used from a dealership in Miami. Bought it with 11,000 miles. And uh, since then, it's been about six months. I put about 1,000 miles so far. So I drive it on the nice, nice days and the weekends, car meets or whatnot. But um, start off with some modifications. So I got the uh, JDM uh, clear front side markers. Uh, I got the headlights and the bumper lights wrapped with the dragon laminates and the Neo smoke. Got the IJDM uh, red uh, tow hook up front. Uh, under the hood, I got uh, just some AEM 2.75 intakes wrapped with the gold DEI uh, heat tape. Uh, for the shoes, I got the FFT Venom 3 uh, black drag wheels, um, 19 up front, 18 in the rear. Uh, up front, I got the Nitto NT05R uh, drag radials. Uh, tire size is going to be, let's see here, 305, 35, 19. Got the car clear bra up front, got the quarter clear bra, got the mirrors. Um, and then for the rears, I got the Mickey Thompson ET Street uh, drag radial, some big fat tires right there. Uh, they hook really good at the drag strip and on the street. And uh, these ones measuring at 345, 3518. Got the windows tinted uh, 20%. Uh, all around. Um, got the roof uh, wrapped with a vivid vivid uh, carbon fiber uh, gloss wrap and then as you know earlier we did the trunk in the same material. Up in the rear got another red IJDM uh, tow hook um, a gloss carbon uh, license plate frame. The diffuser here is from Aerodynamics. So you can see here, it's nice aerial flow dynamics. Uh, so great product, great price. And then for the exhaust, you can see here the nice little titanium tips. Uh, so this exhaust is actually from MXP and it's their straight pipe race version. And I got that hooked up to their um, MXP catless unresonated mid pipe and then you can see here I got the SSP uh, carbon exhaust guards right there on the sides you can see there those are the rec speed uh, carbon fiber side extensions now these are different from the actual carbon fiber uh, zeal replicas so these are actually not side skirts they're more uh, side extensions but look good decent price and then up front this is the still in uh, front lip still in front I know it's kind of hard to see here uh, but it's a still in front lip I went to go with this route because it's polyurethane and um, the roads here in Virginia aren't too great and I didn't want to risk getting a carbon fiber one and having it crack and having to deal with that. So I went with a polyurethane one, which is a little bit better. But overall, this is my GTR here. Uh, and then I got the LED uh, bulbs inside and out in the interior as well. So like I mentioned, this is a black edition. Now, what you may have noticed in the other video is uh, I actually gutted out gutted out the, the rear seats and the trunk, but uh, you can get a better view of that here. So, again, it's the black edition, so you can tell the black and red interior. We'll go over here so you can see the trunk, and it's all empty. All right, so took it all out. Saved about 120 pounds in total. Uh, by removing everything in here and the, and the trunk 
and uh, helped me actually uh, get a good time. I ran a consistent 10.6 at 129 with a best of a 10.5 at 130, which is pretty good considering this car doesn't have a tune. So I'm running the stock factory tune with just intakes, mid pipe exhaust, drag wheels, drag radios, and weight reduction. So um, very pleased with that setup. But again, this is the, my GTR. And I will be doing a review for Chris's GTR and his modifications. And we will uh, do a ride along in my car and do a ride along in, in his GTR. So, but uh, all right, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, please uh, share it. And uh, make sure you like video, subscribe. And uh, all right, I'm out.